The following Botchamania candidate is a step stool match for ownership of the new OWO. If you can still read the first word, then you're lying. The Beagle! First, from Marianne, Georgia, weighing in at 962 pounds, is that correct? Buff Bagel! There's Buff Bagel, with those massive chest and arm muscles. The enormously skinny chicken. And his opponent from Ted Turner's garbage disposal. Weighing in at 151 pounds, Derek Pissoff! There's Derek Pissoff, walking like a woman and carrying a pink belt. Why he's doing that, I don't know. Now Buff Bagel starts things off immediately. And he smashes Derek Piss off with a ladder. This match is supposed to be for leadership of the OWO. Although how many members they have left, I'm not sure. By the time this is over, they'll probably be cut down to one. And there's Snot Hall. You have to wonder whose side he's going to be on. And now Snot Hall, I think he was aiming for Derek Pissoff. Looks like he's made his choice on who he wants as his leader. And Derek Pissoff makes an unbelievable athletic leap off the ladder and all the way down to the floor for some inane reason. Buff Bagwell catches Derek Pissoff with his legs at least on a diving maneuver. And now Derek Pissoff, Snot Hall, really going at it here. Looks like I think Buff Bagel's going to get the win now. Why didn't he go for the briefcase, whatever is supposed to be in there? Since TWAR is supposed to be the best of the worst, in terms of wrestling action and crappy storylines, maybe we should add half of the Raw roster into this whole thing. With today's tag teams and divas, it would fit right in. And now Buff Bagel has got the contract, I think. But Derek Pissoff throws him down. Enziguri kick. And he threw the ladder out of the ring. I don't know why.
Derek Pissoff grabs a ladder of his own. Now Buff Bagel ripping our monitors apart. Now we have no TVs to call the action. Buff Bagel tried to go for a maneuver, but he was nowhere near Derek Pissoff when he landed. And now Derek Pissoff looks like he's got the briefcase, I think. No, he doesn't. Uh, Buff, you have to go in the ring to get the briefcase. And now Derek Pissoff lying on the table. And Buff Bagel just smashed our entire announce table apart. Bagel can get the win. But he chooses not to. And a suplex. I think this has got to be it for sure. But a oh, wait a sec, Buff Bagel is nowhere near the briefcase right now. Once again, he's not near it. Buff Bagel copying Shawn Michaels' sweet chin music. Derek Pissoff trying to make the climb up the ladder, but not even close. And we get a suplex off the ladder. And it looks like Bagel's got the briefcase. Does he have it? Does he have it? No, once again, he doesn't. And Buff Bagel rams Derek Piss off outside of the ring. And a nice sunset flip. I'm oh, sorry, Centon flip. Bagel's on top of the ladder, but now Derek Pissoff is finally up the ladder. I don't believe he had stopped that. Buff Bagel just jumped from the ladder outside the ring, was able to crash the ladder inside the ring. like Derek Pissoff was wise there and got out of the dodge before Buff Bagel could hit him. And now Buff is he aiming for the briefcase or what? No, apparently not. He is down. And now this could be Pissoff's chance. Is he grabbing the briefcase? Is he going to do it? Derek Pissoff hanging from that ladder. Will he grab it? Will he grab it? And no, it, the match is not over. Damn it. And there's the cockbuster. Derek Pissoff, he's getting up. He's going to try to acquire that briefcase. And he did it. 
after Christoph Sowell. Push it! Whether Snot Hall likes it or not, Pissoff is now the new OWO's leader. 